Reason 10.1 was just released, and one of the big features is that developers can now create players. Uh, these are rack extensions that sort of function differently than just CV controllers or other um, utility style uh, rack extensions. These sort of were released with Reason 9.0, I believe is when they came out, or Reason 9.5, um, and it's the scales and chords, it's the um, dual arpeggiator and the um, note echo were the original ones that were available. And these basically work by manipulating MIDI notes itself and controls as opposed to using CV voltage. Um, and so the plus side of this was that they were compatible with VSTs. Uh, but the downside previously had been that there were only three of them and third party developers couldn't access the market. Now, however, with Reason 10.1, there are already eight new uh, third-party, well, seven third-party uh, players, and Propeller has released one of their own. So I just wanted to take a quick second to point this out to you and just take a quick overview of these in case any of them might meet your interest. So um, first you've got the strumming machine, and this basically lets you create complicated strumming patterns um, or simple ones. Uh, that you can switch between so that you could have like guitar style patterns or really anything in between and uh, it's really a powerful and quick way to uh, create songs uh, instead of having to program in things you basically have it's almost like an arpeggiator but even better control because you can mute some notes have them strum up or strum down and have it survive chord changes and things like that the next one is just a note view by Selig um, and to be honest, it seems pretty simple, but that's how I felt about a lot of Celix plugins and then I use them all the time. Sometimes you just really want something simple and that's what he delivers. So this seems to allow you to quickly uh, view and transpose notes, which can be helpful, I guess, if you want to um, automate you know, some complicated VSTs without having to go in there. You can just CV transpose either notes, semitones, or octaves and that could be really helpful. You don't have to go into the full-on um, VST. Uh, Electric Panda has this super powerful sequencer um, and slash arpeggiator. Um, if you're into sequencing and pattern creation, I think this is probably gonna be just up your alley. I don't make too much music like this, uh, so it's not for me, but this thing looks just insanely powerful. You've got the ability to control gates, velocity, length, notes, which octave, delays, probability, repetitions. Um, and look, there's like an entire channel for each of them, for each instrument. And there's multiple playback styles. Um, it looks like it's got a really user-friendly color-based layout. It seems super powerful. If this is your thing, if you're into programming uh, and sequencing, then I think this is probably your jam. Um, this MIDI to CV converter by Love One is probably going to be huge. It basically um, allows you, I'm assuming it allows CV to MIDI as well. Um, no, it goes, so MIDI output, um, MIDI input, and then it'll do CV, yeah. So this is gonna be huge for allowing you to get things um, in and out of your player stacks, um, which is gonna be really powerful now that we've got more players. Oh, this is also sort of the thing that you'd expect to be a native propeller heads type um, player or utility, but it's not, so bully to love one for including it. Uh, then we've got another instrument by, or player by love one, which is a MIDI compressor, uh, basically which will just sort of control your uh, velocity. Um, so it'll make your MIDI playing more consistent or less consistent, louder or quieter, much like a compressor, um, which can be great for triggering things, um, especially if you've got several different, like one MIDI channel triggering um, players on several instruments. You could have it go into them differently without having to reprogram everything. Um, this is probably the one I'm most excited about, the Euclidean Rhythm Sequencer. Uh, this will basically get you into really cool rhythm patterns quickly and easily, um, either for chord steps or you can do a kick drum with this easily. Um, adjustable on the fly, 
This is probably going to be the first one that I buy. I'm looking forward to checking it out a lot. Then here's a chord detector. It'll show you what chords are playing. Um, the thing I don't get, though, is that uh, Scales and Chords already kind of does this. Um, so I don't fully understand the difference. But for those of us that want to know what chords are doing, I guess this could be helpful, too. Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, well, I guess it's the opposite of Scales and Chords, right? Because here you play some notes, and it'll tell you what the chord is. Um, whereas with scale and chords, you play a, chord, a note and it'll make a chord out of it. Uh, so that can be helpful um, if you're trying to learn your theory and such. So I hope this was helpful, just an overview. Really the main point of this was that I just wanted to show you that there's a whole new world of players out there. Um, and I'm sure this will continue to expand as... Hi, this is Evan from YouTube. You might remember me from such videos as Reason 10 Review and sidechain compression. If you've been enjoying these videos, I'd like to encourage you to just take a quick second to like and subscribe.